Hey guys, Zadrummer BHA here, bringing you a new video. Uh, so I haven't done one in a couple of weeks. I've been pretty busy. Have had a lot going on around here. So uh, just trying to get caught up. And I've been working on a uh, setup video for the iRobot integration in Home Assistant. Uh, so I have a iRobot Roomba uh, that I've been playing around with a little bit, and I wanted to get it configured in Home Assistant and kind of show you what all you could do with it. Here we go. So there's actually some custom integrations uh, for the Roombas as well. We're going to focus on the production version um, of the integration for Home Assistant and uh, kind of go through that setup and see what we can do with that one. So let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. All right, so to start it off, we're going to uh, get the robot login details. Uh, and we'll kind of walk through the process of what you have to do uh, in order to get those. We'll need that to get the uh, Roomba set up in Home Assistant. And of course, for the next step, we'll add the integration into Home Assistant. Once we do that, I'll show you how to set up the Loveless card. Uh, there's actually a uh, vacuum card that's in the uh, Home Assistant Community Store that we can add and we'll kind of go through that setup. And then of course, lastly, I'll just kind of show you what that looks like in action. So let's get started. So there are several different ways that you can go about getting this information, uh, but I found that this custom docker command that you can run will actually pull that information for you and it's pretty easy to set up. All right, so basically we're going to run this command here. It's sudo docker run dash it node sh dash c and then quotes npm install dash g dorita 980 ampersand ampersand git dash Roomba dash password and then the IP address uh, of our robot and of course close the quotation marks and I'll have all this in the description below so that you can just copy and paste it but we'll kind of let that run through and uh, complete the install as you get this far it tells you that you have to go in and make sure that you hold down the home button on your um, robot so that it will uh, start blinking blue. It kind of gives you the instructions here. So we'll kind of walk through that. Then you come back over here, you hit enter. And boom, that's it. Uh, you want to make note of the BLID and password that it has down towards the bottom because that's the main information that you need from this right here. Copy those, save them somewhere because you'll need them in the next step. Once you have all that information, let's move on to the next step. All right, so now we're ready to add it into uh, Home Assistant. In uh, the configuration section, we'll hit integrations, hit the plus down in the bottom corner, and then of course we'll do a search for Roomba. At this point, we're gonna type in the IP address of the robot. After that, then all we need is the BLID and password that we copied from the previous step. Once you have all that in there, you can leave all the other settings to be the default. And we'll go ahead and hit submit. And that's it. As you can see, it successfully added the robot into uh, Home Assistant. And if we go click on it here, uh, it basically creates three different entities. We have the actual vacuum entity. Um, 
as well as uh, a sensor that keeps track of whether or not the bin is full or not, and of course the battery level of the robot itself. If we click on that vacuum entity, you can kind of see some of the different things that you're able to do there and what all it shows you. But that's pretty much it. It is now added into Home Assistant and can be controlled by Home Assistant. Let's go ahead and move on to the next step and set up that Loveless card. All right, so uh, assuming that you already have Hacks or the Home Assistant Community Store installed, we'll click on that. We're gonna go to Front End. At this point, you'll hit that plus in the bottom corner and we'll do a search for Vacuum Card. And as you can see, there it is. We'll go ahead and click on it. So it's pretty cool, not super fancy, and it's generic enough that it's designed for different vacuums. So depending on what model of uh, vacuum that you have, it should be able to integrate with this card pretty nicely. Uh, it's easiest, of course, to install it through uh, the Home Assistant Community Store, but you could do it manually if you would uh, rather do that. We'll go ahead and hit install. All you have to do is uh, reload Home Assistant. You don't have to reboot or anything, so that's kind of nice. Once we do that, I'll uh, just kind of go over to my little test area, test dashboard that I have set up here in Home Assistant, and we'll add that Loveless card just to kind of show you what we're talking about. Uh, there's a couple of different features. If you want the compact view, there is one that as well. But that's pretty much it. It's got the little vacuum. It's already added. It was super easy. I only have one vacuum entity installed on Home Assistant, at least in my setup. So, of course, it populated that already. Let's go ahead and move on to that last step and see it in action. All right, so on the left, of course, is the iPhone app for my robot. And on the right is um, the Home Assistant Loveless card. We'll go ahead and start the vacuum there on the card itself. And as you can see, they both pretty much immediately started showing that they were vacuuming. So it's moving right along. Looks pretty good. We'll go ahead and hit the dock button or home button there in Home Assistant as well. And as you can see, even the app immediately shows that it's returning home. So it, uh, again, very responsive and seems to uh, work pretty well together. But that's the end of the video, guys. Uh, it actually was pretty smooth. Um, there are definitely some other custom features that you can get with some of the other uh integrations that they have for the Roomba, but this is the built-in uh, production version that's integrated into Home Assistant, so I think it kind of works uh, at least the most smoothly. I do wish it had some additional features on there that you could tell it what rooms you wanted to vacuum and stuff like that. Uh, hopefully that will be integrated before too long into this uh, integration. Nonetheless, that's the end of the video, guys. All right, let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. So of course, for starters, we went through and got our uh, login details from the robot itself. And I kind of showed you how to do that. Once we did that and had the information we needed, we added that integration into Home Assistant. Once that was done, we uh, went through and set up the Loveless card. So it had a nice, cool looking card to uh, view the information about the uh, robot. And then lastly, I showed you what that looks like in action. As always, I want to thank everybody for donating to my Buy Me A Coffee link. Every little bit helps. Uh, if you haven't had a chance, jump over to my spring merchandise page and check out all the Burns Home Automation merchandise. And of course, if you are still looking for VPN service, check out IP Vanish and see what they have to offer there. They're definitely uh, worth uh, checking out if you're looking for VPN service. 
If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. As always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around.